Section 5.2. In the last section, we reviewed what cascading style sheets are and also the application, and we looked at a few themes in Moodle that make it possible for you to just plug in and automatically modify cascading style sheets. But let's look at CSS coding style just in case you really want to get into the details. A good place to go is Moodle Docs. So here's the URL docs.moodle.org slash dev slash CSS underscore coding underscore style. Now, this gives you a chance to take a look at all the different opportunities and occasions where you would put in CSS and how the naming conventions work and how, the, how it looks. So it's basically going to be in your HTML and it's going to be in a part that's all by itself, usually at the beginning of the, C, of the HTML. It occurs there because, again, the changes that you make are going to tend to be global. So this is a really good opportunity to take a look at where the conventions are and what to do. Again, if you want to really take a look at what CSS is all about, here are the different things you can change the appearance of visited links. Here's this. See, that's where you change the appearance of it. You can take the, you can make a, a link that's a mouse over, it's a hover. You can do all kinds of things. Here are the different basic codes. You can memorize all these if you would like, or you can go to a CSS generator. And here's an interesting thing, like if you want to generate the code and just copy and paste, you can do that. How did I get to this? Well, I went to the CSS generator at css3.me and essentially I clicked on edit the basics and I just kind of changed the attributes. Box shadow, border radius, background gradient. You can make all these different colors. You can put from this and make it transparent to this really crazy looking and essentially do all kinds of things to, to create something unique but you don't have to like generate the code you can get the code and then you can copy and paste and put it into the right place in the website and I'm assuming that you have server administration Right, so in Moodle. But if you don't, well then, all this is sort of good to know, but what you'll really want to do is select themes that allow you to automatically plug things into the custom code. And here's a great place to get custom code. So essentially, in this section, we've talked about common codes to use in CSS and essentially where to get them if you want to generate custom codes. And if you want to know how to review the basics of coding CSS in Moodle, we've talked about the location in Moodle Docs. So in the next section, we're going to go a little bit further, and we're going to talk about colors in CSS.